The Pink Tax. Starlet looks up from her desk as she hears some pony enter her room in a rush. Pinky frantically shuts the door. Starlight, have you paid your taxes? Starlight... No? What are you talking about? Starlight asks. Pinky walks over to Starlight's desk. The pink tax. What's that? It's a tax on pink ponies. What? Th that's ridiculous. There's no way that's real. It is real, and I'm not paying this year. I, uh, how are you gonna do that? I don't know yet. Why pink? It's the most common color! Coat, mane, tails, cutie mark, it's everywhere! That seems crazy. Like, putting a tax on being cute. Don't give them ideas! That would ruin Fluttershy! As if on cue, Fluttershy entered Starlight's office. Hello, is this where I pay my taxes? Fluttershy asks. No, but you should skip paying like me! I couldn't do that, I want to be a good citizen. Doesn't it seem a bit colorist to single out pink? Well, I guess so. Exactly! Before any pony could speak, another pony entered the room, which was Twilight. Don't tell me you're here to pay the pink tax! Uh, I am. Is this the right spot? Twilight says. There's barely any pink on you! I only pay every three years. This year I was up. Pinky drops her head, face planting the desk. Then she lifts her head. I am not paying. That's illegal. Twilight contests. I'll find a way. Why don't you want to pay? I've been paying my whole life and it's not fair. 150 bits a year adds up. Uh, well, I guess I never questioned it because that's how things always were. Every three years probably makes it more forgettable. Yeah. A fourth pony enters the room, and it was Sweetie Drops. I'm here to pay my pink tax. This must be the right place. Why is every pony okay with this? Pinky says, annoyed. Every pony shrugged. Ugh, join me! Fight the pink tax! Send them a message! No pony seemed to care. Diamond Tiara enters the room amidst the silence. Pinky's outraged. <laughs> They're taxing children now? How can you stand for this? Oh, so this is the right place. Diamond Tiara says. Isn't your father the tax collector? Yes, he's probably on his way now. Pinky sighs before the cutie mark crusaders enter the room. Ugh, pink tax? Pinky asks. Yes, this is it, girls. Sweetie Belle answers. How? I, I understand you, but Scootaloo and Apple Bloom, they're not pink. The two mentioned fillies showed their cutie marks, pointing to the tiny pink spots. Pinky is in disbelief. Seriously? You have to pay for that? We figured it'd be best to pay, you know? Rather to be safe than sorry. Sweetie Belle says we should only have to pay like every six years since we barely have any pink. Scootaloo says. The room went silent as Pinky looked around. What about Mayor Mare? Where is she? She has a pink mane. I think she doesn't have to pay because she dyes her mane gray. Sweetie Belle said. Ugh, that's not fair. You know how hard it would be to dye my entire coat mane and tail? I wonder if Shining has to pay. He has a small pink star on his cutie mark. Twilight said. Moments later, he walked into the room, along with Princess Cadence and Flurry Heart. Oh, do you all have to pay the tax too? Twilight asks. Yes, but it's nice to see you again. Twilight and Cadence do their special dance. I can't believe this. The princesses of love and friendship have to pay a tax for having pink on them. Twilight just shrugs. It's the law. Does Flurry Heart have to pay? I believe so. Pinky drops her head on the desk in disbelief. <sighs> Who's next, Princess Celestia? It was in fact Celestia. She came into the room and the whole room bowed in her presence. Pinky's mouth hung open in shock. No, 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 no. There's no way you have to pay the pink tax. Oh, so this is the right place. Celestia said. This doesn't make any sense! 
Pinky says. Princess Celestia, why do you have to pay? Isn't it your law? Twilight asks. No, Princess Luna created the law. Why? Over a thousand years ago, Luna and I got into an argument over something silly. She decided to make a law to spite me. And why haven't you removed it? Pinky interjects. I left it as a memento while she was gone. Whoa, 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 okay, so let me get this straight. You left a law that taxes pink ponies for being pink, so you could remember your sister? Starlight said. For over a thousand years, I might add. Pinky interjects. Yes, it was rather silly of me. I should have abolished it a long time ago. I'm sorry, my little ponies. Well, can you remove it now, princess? I suppose I could. Since she's returned, there's no need for the law. I would have to wait until next year to remove it, though. This tax season has already begun, so I'm afraid we will have to pay for one more year. Pinky sits in thought for a moment, before a devious grin spread on her face. Maybe not. Filthy Rich opened the door to Starlight Glimmer's office. Walking inside, he closes the door behind him. Looking around the room, he finds a single pink alicorn sitting in the middle of the room. Ugh, pink tax. The pink alicorn asks in an annoyed tone. Yes, uh, shouldn't there be more ponies? They aren't pink anymore. How? They all dyed their coats, mane, and tails. Uh, what about you? I'm Princess Luna. They dyed me pink. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Mane, coats, tail, cutie mark. That'll be 200 bits, Princess. Oh, doing a little bit of trolling, doing a little bit of tomfoolery. Oh, so fun. Because, man, fuck taxes. Now let's get on to our pink donators. Top donators, Jesse Smith, Zaw630, Badass Waffle, Only One Things, Ryan, and Calidus. Magivec, Jock, Raiden, Runescythe, Will, Twinkie, Luigi, Chance of Crest, Big Smoke, Murder Princess, The Little Mighty, Solar Symphony, Maverick, and many more amazing people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.